So my first streaming PC was actually a MacBook. That's because the best poverty streaming software of all time, CamTwist, was only on OS X. In fact, I hope I get access to a Mac OS PC again because I'd really love to do a video on CamTwist. But I digress. This episode of Stream Tech is what you need to know before buying a laptop for live streaming. Now I wanna preface this by saying that we're gonna be looking at laptops that are for people that are maybe like a secondary encoding machine or like a mobile production rig. Now, if you're planning to game and stream on the same PC, really the only thing you need to look for is that you have at least a 1660 or an RTX card in the laptop. That way you have access to NVENC for encoding on the same machine. Now, in terms of people using a laptop as an encoding machine, this is really for people that are gonna be traveling a lot. So if you're just in the same space at the same time, there's really no case where a laptop is gonna be better or even a cheaper option than just buying a dedicated streaming machine. Only if you're really, really constrained for space does a laptop seem like the better option. Now, if you're someone that's gonna have a mobile production rig that needs four to five inputs, or you're a streamer that's like traveling to conventions and you wanna be able to still broadcast to your audience, then these laptops are gonna be a really good option for you. So what are the most important components to look at when you're picking a laptop? Well, traditionally it was a CPU because you had to use S.264 to be able to get a good quality stream without getting a crazy bit rate. But now with the improvements that Nvidia has done to NVENC, it now can do 1080p medium quality streams using NVENC, which traditionally required crazy CPUs that weren't even available on laptops. You needed a bunch of cores to get it done. So basically you're gonna wanna look for a laptop that has at least a 1600 GPU. And if you're gonna be gaming and streaming on the same laptop, then you know, get those RTX, you know, 20 series GPUs. And I recommend kind of keeping it at 720p, especially if you're on Twitch with the bitrate limits. But if you're on other platforms, then, you know, go crazy. But at least now you don't have to set super high crazy bit rates with NVENC. So another big benefit for NVENC is that it allows two encoding processes. So you can have one for streaming and one for recording if you're gonna do really high quality uploads to YouTube. I put a link in the description of the settings that NVIDIA recommends that you set for NVENC. And I even use this for my own personal streams at home. So what about the CPU? Well, basically the GPU now is putting the whole stream on its back, especially if you're using software like OBS, which does all its rendering on the GPU. So for the CPU, I mean, don't skimp on it. Most of the good gaming or workhorse or workstation PCs come with hexacore processors. And of course there's options for eight cores now, but I think six cores will really get the job done. So probably the next most important consideration is the ports that are available on the laptop. So if you're using this as like a dedicated encoding machine, you're gonna wanna make sure you have enough available USB 3 ports. And basically you wanna make sure you have enough ports on both sides of the laptop because these are gonna be different buses, right? So you're gonna want your capture card on one side and then on the other side, put your webcam or another capture card, and then split the difference between the USB microphone and like the Go XLR and the Stream Deck. Now, if you're gonna be using this as like a mobile production machine, you need, absolutely need a Thunderbolt 3 port, not just a USB-C port, make sure it says Thunderbolt 3. Because when you have Thunderbolt 3, you can connect those Thunderbolt 3 enclosures that I've mentioned. These are basically PCIe enclosures, and these will give you a couple different PCIe slots. So this is where you connect the PCI capture cards, like the quad SDI card or the quad HDMI card. So again, make sure that port is not just USB-C, but an actual Thunderbolt 3 port. Next, let's talk about the storage situation on the laptop. So the actual system drive doesn't need to be really big, like 256, 512, that's all fine. What's really important is if it has a secondary drive, especially if you'll be recording your footage, make sure it has the biggest secondary drive possible even if it's just a hard disk drive, like, you know, one terabyte is great if you're gonna be recording your footage. Now, when it comes to memory, memory isn't really as important. At least 16 gigs of memory is fine. If you're gonna be using this for other productivity things like video editing and stuff like that, get 32, but at a base level 16 is okay. So last but not least, let's talk about the size and the weight of the laptop. Now, of course, the smaller and lighter the laptop is, 
the better because you've already carrying around all this other equipment and gear and you don't want to pay those heavy baggage fees but it's really important to think about the thermal performance of the laptop so basically if the laptop isn't good at cooling itself down what it's going to do is make the cpu or gpu downclock and reduce performance so then you can get frame drops and stutter so make sure to read the reviews of thermal performance check if it ever starts to throttle itself when it gets too hot or it works too hard i mean if you're really in love with the size and weight of the laptop you might actually have to bring one of those little laptop coolers with you to keep it cool so that it doesn't really make your stream stutter because i used to have this problem especially at super arcade when there was 100 people in there it would get really hot and the laptop would basically start dying by the middle of the night so what is my personal recommendation for buying a streaming laptop well, unfortunately, I don't quite have that clout yet to get free hardware sent to me. So what I did is I read some reviews and looked at some specs and configurations, and I put some links in the description. This is a budget level laptop, a mid-tier laptop, and if you're Bezos status laptop, these are all affiliate links. So if you buy from these links, it does help the channel and support the channel. It helps me buy all the cold brew coffee that goes into writing these scripts. So if you have any questions about buying your own streaming laptop, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to help you wherever I can. If this video was useful to you, slap that like button. If you want to learn more about streaming or FGC stuff, tickle that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching y'all. Catch y'all later.